Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today um, we're going to talk um, some of the new Necron stuff because over on the GW website they've just released um, a little preview. I say a little preview because it's nothing nothing too big of the new Scorpec Destroyer and it shows off one of his new weapons, the Hyperphase Reapblade. I actually also want to talk about a few things. I actually want to talk about the potential box set price. I want to talk about the potential release date um, for the whole 9th edition as well. So let's just jump in. Let's get talking and let's just talk necrons and ninth edition so the article says first up with a name like the scorpec destroyer am i pronouncing that right scorpec destroyer let's just call it the uh the score destroyer so it says first up with a name like the score destroyer it hails from the destroyer cult now this was a big thing that i was speaking about in the weeks before this came out because uh, the information that i got was that destroyers are going to be coming out and they're going to have legs and everyone's like what do you mean they're going to have legs and i was like making fun of it about you know the primaris marine stole or the hover tech from the Necrons, that's why the Silent King's coming back, that's why it's so mad. Um, it goes on to say, it clearly hails from the Destroyer Cult, meaning it has, let's just say, anger management issues. However, unlike the more familiar family of Destroyers and Heavy Destroyers, which um, uh, favour destroying their prey from afar, Scorpet Destroyers, or Scor Destroyers, like to read them up close and personal with murderous sweeping of enormous blades. And we saw it in the trailer, and the image now you're actually seeing down below is like um, all three of them. These, uh, these, these are the first time we've seen like the proper poses yes we've seen them like on like the the blur image that gw released and they put like the nice fancy image out and um, but this is really the first time we've seen him in this and i absolutely love him i really do look i like how the the blades are kind of like connected to the actual body because um you know you can't drop your blade then they, I, th I think they've took a lot of uh, stuff off the black templars the black templars tried the chains on them these guys have took it to like the you know the next stage and basically welded it um to their bodies massive huge massive Massive blades. I love the poses. Very, very domineering. About to strike you down, cut you in half, and all that kind of stuff. For me, really, really cool models. I have heard a little bit of feedback about the legs and stuff. Do you think it really makes sense for Tyranids to have legs? Again, as it mentions that these are more close quarter combat, to have that hover kind of thing, maybe that could be like a hindrance when you're fighting people. So maybe the legs um, um, help. And again, because the legs are so spiky and stuff, they're kind of a weapon. I'm wondering if they will actually be a weapon actually when it comes to the full um, rule set. Because as we've got to go into a second this is the rules that we have now this is called the hyperphase reap blade so the rules on this is range melee type melee of course and it's strength plus two ap minus four so that is like you know bye bye save unless you've got an invulnerable save and damage is free now that is a pretty nasty melee weapon i i, I think i think that will more or less bring anything down again and vulnerable saves are always welcome when it's stuff like this but but i have to say there's more to this in the article because it goes on to say uh, what's more as one would expect the destroyer the scorpet is tough so i think that they're hinting at in the rules that it may have like you know a high toughness what toughness five let's say um and yet despite not drifting into battle like its kin so that's referring to the hover tech it is still wickedly fast as it skitters forward so i think they're hinting at that it's going to have the toughness and it's going to have a lot of movement let's just say let's just say what 10 inch movement on these little spider legs toughness five and with the melee weapon like that strength plus two ap minus four damage is three let's say if the strength is you know base strength uh, four so that is you know uh, uh strength six with this weapon that is you know doing um, damage to space marines it actually says here he can he can cut a custodian in half and we've seen it in the trailer pierce a space marine so um for units like that it's definitely going to be a killer weapon hopefully we'll be seeing more of that because i'm very very interested to see all these new gizmos again Again, as a Primaris player, I'm sorry, Xenos players, I'm very, very hyped to see what all these shield boys have and everything like that. I'm dying to see the captain with a shield. That's what I'm really dying to see. We've seen, like, the uh, lieutenant and stuff. We've seen all, like, all the assault guys with their chainsaws, their bolt pistols. But that captain who's holding his shield looking like an absolute badass, that is what we've yet to see, and I just want it in my life. The Templars are calling for that captain to be bare, like, the Maltese cross and march in Dawn's bloody name. So now that we're seeing all these articles, or the start of the articles, let's say, um, come out, um, I do think we will start seeing some of the primary stuff soon. But the main question is, 
when is 9th edition going to drop? Now, if you've been following the pre-order schedule, uh, the Sunday that's just gone, they've just announced all the tiny planes and everything like that. So that is going to be coming out next um, Saturday for pre-orders. Now, the following Sunday, I think, is going to be the big hint when 9th edition could potentially be coming out. Because if it is the next Psychic Awakening book, so if it is War of the Spider, for me, that intentions that the uh, the, the Codex, or sorry, not sorry, not the Codex, the actual rulebook itself, it's probably going to be coming out in July. I would love it to come out in July. I know a lot of people say, no, it's probably going to be August. For me, I'd like it to come out sooner rather than later. I know I'm, I'm kind of selfish in that because the way I see it, all these Psychic Awakening books, and this is another thing that um, I just briefly want to talk about. People have been asking me about all the new rules that have been coming out with the Psychic Awakening. And um, for me, I'm not really taking them at the moment as like proper rules until I see what 9th edition is all about. We've still got so much to talk about with 9th edition and like the intended rules, like the terrain and stuff like that. So when I'm seeing these Psychic Awakening rules, I'm not getting really um, um, excited about them because I don't know if 9th edition are going to affect them in like a bad way. Like it, it, this, this, this rule could be amazing as it is now in 8th edition, but with the way 9th edition could turn out, that means that rule is not that really that good. So that's why I haven't really been covering those type of rules rules and um, when they've been coming out on the internet even though you know you people have been sending me which i'm massively thankful for i'm just waiting for the ninth edition stuff to drop before i start really going into the rules and talking about them a little bit more anyway back on track as i just previously mentioned i am hoping for july for ninth edition but again i wouldn't be surprised if it comes out in august it's either going to come out in july or august it, it has to be one of those dates i don't see it coming out in september or anything like that july or august i think as i said next week is the week where we'll see, get more of a clearer picture because if next week is and War of the Spider, that means they've only got one more Psychic Awakening book to release until they can drop 9th edition. Now, talking about the price of the box set, now, I've briefly gone over this on my streams and stuff. We, we're Actually, we're always talking about stuff like this on my streams um, when, when we do the Vox Chat with Alrek every night, um, is the price tag. Now, there's obviously been a lot of talk about the price tag. Um, I initially said um, I would expect it to be somewhere between £115 to £130 if the two armies that we've been talking about are the two armies in there that is the necron force and the primaris force that had those little images that got put on the website now what i personally think is going to be happening is that this box set is going to be launching for 120 pound and the reason i believe that is because when gw announced um a giveaway a couple of weeks ago it's like you can win this mystery box what's ever in the mystery box and if you go into the terms and conditions of that mystery box over on the gw website um it says that the the price or the contents inside this are worth up to 100 and 20 pound now a lot of people are saying well uh, you know that be just be could be like the new star box set for 8th edition for 120 pound and i absolutely agree with him i actually do think that is going to be the starter uh, uh, box set it is going to be 120 pound you know if you compare that to the dark imperium box set and it does turn out to be 120 pound uh, the the dark imperium was 95 pound i still think to this day that the the 8th edition starter box set was probably one of the best starter box sets you could buy 95 pound for those two arms in there the death guard stuff the primary space marine stuff you got in there absolutely fantastic now if it is those two armies in the box set which i do believe it is so the necrons and space marines i actually think that this box set is the first time i've seen it where it's, it's more like like um, a melee focused box set. yes you have the bikes in there and the health fury guys in there potentially but when you look at like you know like the assault intercessors in there the the shield guys in there these uh, necron figures and um, supposedly that'll be in there it, it seems like a very very close quarter combat and for me who's starting a black templar force i am absolutely chuffed with that because the more melee i get for my primaris force means the more i can build my next part of the last wall and turn into black templars all right chaperoneos that is me done for another video thank you for coming thank you for watching as always i would love to get your thoughts feedback and everything that we've discussed today necron players what do you think of the new scorpec destroyer um do you like what you see so far with um his little tease of a preview you know the strength plus two ap minus four damage free do you think he's going to be very very fast when it comes to the battlefield what toughness do you think he's going to be i'm going to say toughness five these boys look big so i'm definitely going to say uh, toughness five on these i would also like to get your thoughts and feedback on the potential box set price what we discussed today as well do you think 120 pound is a great deal for this box set or do you think it should uh, be well i think everyone thinks it it should be lower but if we do have these two armies inside that box set do you think that is a good deal um as a new start edition box set don't forget that um it's not just the armies that'll be in this box set they'll definitely include the ninth edition um rule book in there as well
as well because that's what they all do when it comes to these new edition box sets they all have that new rule book for people to get into and read and all the changes and stuff like that right thank you for coming thank you for watching as always enjoy your day um and enjoy your lives and i'll see you all in a bit see you now and bye bye